So it's been a month since I installed Blender on my computer. These are my results and progression so far. It's still far from perfect, but I'm making progression and I want to show you what I did to learn Blender. Links of all the tutorials will be in the description down below. The end goal is still to make a game a first person shooter in Unity. So have a follow, have a look around and try the tutorials for yourself. The first day in Blender was spent messing around with the cube and doing some monkey business. I learned how you can drag around the cube, how you can scale it, rotate it, or how you can just mess around with it in the edit mode. Then I also quickly learned that if you hit Shift A, Mesh, you can add a monkey into your scene. So I was really happy you can just insert monkeys. Then I looked for the best tutorial to start with and I quickly came up with the donut tutorial by Blender Guru. He also showed in the first video of his tutorial you can add smoke effects to your monkey and when you click it you can also set it on fire. So that was exactly what I was looking for on my first day, setting a monkey head on fire. I'm pretty much an expert Blender modeling right now. So aside from making a monkey head on fire, it was actually time for me to make some real models in Blender. And I didn't know quite what to expect from it because the results looked pretty nice. And the only thing I can do was draw basic stick figures and lines. So this is the result that I came up with inside Blender. And I must say I'm pretty happy with the results. The tutorial took me many hours to complete, but I'm quite pleased with the results. I learned a lot about modeling, layouts, sculpting, UV editing, animation, shading, and many notes, and so on and so forth. So these were the results that I got. So coming from Stickman to this one, any animation, I was very pleased with it. It took me more than a week and I did many hours a day in Blender to get these results. So it's a pretty lengthy tutorial. Maybe not the best first tutorials to start with, so I would say start with something more simple like one hour tutorial or something and then come right to this donut tutorial. But you learn a lot doing this. Then coming from a donut, I went straight into making a hammer. It's a weird transition, I know, but it worked for me. And this is actually the tutorial that I wished I start with. Because this one is really quick, easy and the results just look great. At least in my opinion. I think they look great and it shows you a lot about modeling, texturing and just extruding, deleting faces and so on. So this one, quick, easy and just a nice tutorial. I would really recommend this as your first tutorial that you start out with. So have a great hammer time. That was a bad joke, I know. Next up I was really into Grant Abbott and his tutorials. So I followed this animal tutorial and I tried to make something that looked kind of like a giraffe. Hard to see but for me it's a giraffe and I'm really happy with this little guy here. So an also important value here is working with reference images. So you model from a reference image on both views, then you duplicate over to one side and that's how you model a giraffe or something that looks like a giraffe. like. So I'm pretty pleased with this results by Grant Abbott, certainly have a look at this one. So after a few tutorials it was time for me to make my own models and model from an own reference image that I found online. I tried to make this sword and I was really into the low poly style of making weapons because the end goal for me is still making a 3D game in Unity and maybe I'll make this sword but I'll probably make a better one later on. So I made a little tutorial on my YouTube channel about how I modeled this sort and how you can follow along by modeling through reference image. Still my first real model on my own without following a YouTube tutorial or something else. And I'm pretty proud of this simple result so I'm really into the low poly style now and I'll probably make more in the future. So, so far I spent a lot of time on modeling, texturing and so on. So it was time to step up my game and make a character. Now the results here don't really look very good, but I'm still happy I managed to make this person. The intention was low poly, which worked right here, but also animating it and adding an armature with bones so I can animate this little guy here. So when I hit play, it does the dance of his people. Just look at him go and it is looping. So that was the intention of this video, setting up bones from a low poly character and then going as I wanted. And I hit it in a really weird pose but I kind of, I think it's really cute. So I just 
let him do the dance of his people for eternity now. And to tie everything up, I went to the Sea Shack tutorial by Grant Abbott. A sort of exam for me to see what I got, cause this had everything that I learned so far. It went into modeling, armatures, design, animation and texturing, so everything I learned up to now was in this tutorial. And I must say, it's a very fun tutorial, it's also a pretty lengthy one with many videos, but you learn a lot doing it, so I definitely recommend this Sea Shack tutorial by Grant Abbott. And I'll show you how it looks once it is animated. So you can see in the water there are some fish here, two of them are animated, the boat moves a little and the flag has bones as well. Now bones inside the flag, I know it's not most efficient or pretty but it's good to learn some basic animation. So here's the result when I hit the play button. You can see right here the fish are swimming around, there's a little mistake because he can magically swim out of the water. The boat is moving a little bit, but my flag is also happily waving. And I got some basic lighting set up here. So definitely, if you went through these tutorials, finish with this one. And my goals from now on is to make my own models, my own animation, and add them into my shooter game in Unity. So if you want to see how that goes along, just subscribe to the YouTube channel and many videos of that will pop up in the future. Anyway, have a look at the description and good luck with your own Blender adventures. Please like the video if you liked the video, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell symbol, that way you will get notified whenever I upload a new video. And remember to have a great day, see you next time.